today we are going to talk about the spark architecture the topics that we will discuss is driver partition executor job stage task lazy evaluation transformation actions narrow and wide transformations what is an application a user program built on Spark using its APIs. It consists of a driver program and executors on the cluster. This diagram encapsulates the various components of the Spark. So it has a driver and it distributes its work into a number of executors and executors have slots and each of these slots has a capability to accommodate a task. We will see that in more details as we progress. A driver maintains information about the Spark application. It responds to user programs responsible for analyzing, distributing work across the executors. So this is important. Driver is like the leader. It distributes the work across the executors. Another very important concept is the partition. So in distributed processing, the data is divided into various chunks and, and it is called partitions. And these chunks of data, each chunk of data is being assigned to an executor. The executor executes code assigned by the driver, reports state back to the driver. A job, Spark driver divides the application into a number of jobs, which is depicted in this figure out here. So, in the previous slide, we have seen that the driver distributes the work into a number of jobs. The jobs are further divided into a number of stages. And each stage is divided into a number of tasks. Tasks are created by the driver and assigned a partition of data to process. Tasks are assigned to slots for parallel execution. There is another concept known as lazy evaluation. Lazy evaluation refers to the idea that Spark waits until the last moment to execute a series of operations. Instead of modifying the data immediately when we express some operation, we build up a plan of transformations that we will apply to the source data. That plan is executed when we call an action. Why is lazy evaluation good? It makes it easier to parallelize operations and allows Spark to apply various optimizations. What is a transformation? Those are instructions you use to modify a data frame to get the results that you want. They do not change the data. The data is changed when an action is called. Examples of transformations, order by, group by, filter, select, join. Actions are statements that are computed and executed when they are encountered in the developer's code. They are not postponed or wait for other code constructs. While transformations are lazy, actions are eager. The narrow and wide transformation. Spark partitions are collection of rows that sit on physical machines in the cluster. Narrow transformations mean that the work can be computed and reported back to the executor without changing the data is partitioned on the system. Why transformations require data to be distributed over the system? This is called a shuffle. Shuffles are triggered when data needs to move between the executors. So narrow transformations are 
something like this. So, this is done within this executor, but the Y transformations they require interaction between different executors. Filter and contains represent narrow transformations, say because they operate on a single partition and produce the resulting output partition without any exchange of data. Group by or order by instructs Spark to perform wide transformations where data from other partitions is read in, combined and written to disk. Order by requires output from other partitions to compute the final aggregation. Hope you liked this lecture on Spark basic architecture. What we will do is that once we understand the basics, we will use this basics to do the programming in PySpark. Thank you so much. Bye.